welcome to Breeding Famous Racehorses. Now, the last two episodes, we were creating these famous racehorses. We probably will do another creating uh, famous racehorses, so if there is a racehorse you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. But today, we'll be breeding them. I want to see what we get out of these horses. So if you don't know, this is Rival Star's desktop. The one problem, though, with these custom creation horses is, as you can see, these tabs don't include a pedigree tab which all of the other horses would normally have because they're custom creations, which means you don't like create the parent, basically. Uh, so it can make for some pretty, pretty funky looking, pretty funky looking horses. So I think uh, we've only got three mares to breed anyway. So it's just a case of choosing the, uh, the what's it called, the stallions. So I gotta put Secretariat because it's Secretariat, you know. Um, He's gotta go first. So, we're gonna go with Secretariat for our Stallion. And we've got Ruffian, so that's one we've got. Then we have Secretariat and Zenyatta. That's gonna be an interesting one. And our final one is Secretariat and Black Caviar. So, two out of, actually, all of the mares are like really dark for some reason. They're like dark basil blacks, um, I think. Black Caviar and Ruffian are the same coat color, but that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and skip, see what we get. Okay, interesting, right, so we've got this, I think it's gonna be a light bay. Um, I think, you know what, I'm gonna care for the foal. Um, and I'm actually going to not name the foals. I'm gonna let you guys name the foals. So I'm gonna number the horses and you just tell me which number you'd like to name and insert name. You can uh, decide to help name any of the horses and I'll pick my favorite ones. So this is number one. This is our first filly. Um, and I'm actually going to take care of her. And by that, I mean I'm gonna pay someone else to do it. So she's max level now um i'm actually going to take a quick photo because that is adorable so there's little um number one <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have a name next time but we're gonna skip to met let's see what she looks like all grown up <gasps> love the socks <gasps> oh she's a she's a darker bay than i expected her to be gorgeous gorgeous horse i love the big sock the high sock at the back um, I think if I'm gonna take a closer look at her stats, um, so in speed and acceleration, she's the same as both her parents, because, actually no, are they 70? No, hang on. Oh, oh yeah, I have to train these horses. Oh, gosh, okay. So I think she is good, I think the max is 70, right? So I believe she's one minus on both speed and acceleration and she's actually two extra on sprint energy. So she's got a little bit of setback and also is slightly better than her both her parents. So let's see what Zenyatta's fall. Now I'm gonna keep all of the foals because I wanna see them race. I'm gonna like train them. Uh, but today we're just gonna be looking at the breeding. So Zenyatta, let's see what you bring out of Secretariat. Okay, interesting. I am expecting mostly bays. So if you're looking for a, a video where we breed Palomino horses and, and white horses, this is not the video. We're going to be getting quite bland bays. Uh, but I'm excited because this horse actually has very good stats. Very, very good stats indeed. And it's a filly again. Um, and we can probably like mix the horses as well. So this will be number two. If you'd like to name number two, make sure to put number two in your comment and just insert the name so we're also going to hire a caretaker i'm gonna be out of money after this but that's fine i suppose um and we're gonna go ahead and skip to mare let's see what she looks like grown up she's a buckskin oh i didn't know that she's a buckskin i'm not a huge fan of that particular buckskin look because of the like black dots on the shoulder and the ginger hair uh, but it's still cute. I'm gonna keep number two. I'm gonna keep all the horses. So our third and final foal is from Black Caviar X Secretariat. So let's see what horse we get. Is it gonna be a filly? Ooh, oh, it's pretty. I love the little smoke um, facial markings. Adorable. Oh, and the stats are really good as well. Okay, so this is number three. If you'd like to name number three, make sure you put number three in your comment. So, hire, hire a caretaker, of course, because I'm not doing this properly. I'm paying people to do it. What's she look like? Oh, 
Oh, oh, she's a gray. Oh, she's a really pretty gray. Ooh, oh, that horse is really nice. Okay, so we have three untrained horses that I am going to have to go away. How many empty stalls have we got? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'll do three more breedings, so this will be quite a short video. But I'll go away and train them all, and then next time we'll breed them as well. So let's see. Um, actually, no, I wanted to change the stud, didn't I? So we've got Secretariat. I think maybe we should go for... Hmm. Should we go for Farlap? Yeah, let's go for Farlap. We'll set stud as Farlap. So far we've gotten Chestnuts. Uh, maybe I should do Tiger Roll as well. Even though in real life Tiger Roll was a gelding. So we've got Farlap X Ruffian. Farlap X Black Caviar. And finally, Farlap X Zenyatta. Uh, we won't do the, the, horse, the other horses yet because they're not trained. So let's see Ruffian's Foal. Please be a good one. Oh, another grey. Oh my god, the markings are to die for. That horse is adorable. Uh, and it's a colt. It's our first colt of the session, actually. So he is going to be number four. And we're going to visit him. And yes, I'm going to hire a t caretaker every time. Also, I earn a lot of money on Rival Stars. So don't worry about the fact that I'm spending literally millions. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I think he's the same coat as... Who was about Zenyatta? I think he he is. Oh no, no, that's different. No, I can't see Zenyatta yet, but I don't think that's the same. Oh, actually, it is. She has the same coat as Zenyatta, even that's not her. Even though that's not her mum. Strange. Uh, so right, let's see what black caviar looks comes out as. Oh, oh my God, bald face, adorable. Oh, I don't know what code that's going to come out to be, but that is adorable. Decent stats as well. So I believe this is number five. Let's go ahead. Oh my god, the foal is adorable. Ah, the foal is so cute. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and skip to mare. Let's see. Oh, she's like... She's probably the coat I should have made like black caviar. Oh, that's a nice coat though. <gasps> Pretty. So that's number five. Um, and our last foal of today will be Zenyatta. Let's see. Um, why is it, why, 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 why are the legs pink? Is my question. Great stats though, and it's a stallion. So it's gonna have incredible stats. So this is number six. Um, I don't have high hopes when it grows up. I'm really not a fan of that badger face. I don't think it looks good. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, hire a caretaker. Thank you. And we're gonna go ahead and skip to Stallion. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, he's darkened. Oh no, okay, I take that back. That's gorgeous. Oh my god, he's got a tiny little white heel. That's amazing. Again, not a fan of the badger face, but his stats are really good. Really, really good. Okay. Right, so have, let's have a really quick look through the horses that we got. Uh, so, as you can see via the pedigree, this is a better example. Um, Secretary and Ruffian, as you can see, the mum and the dad, don't have any grand sires or grand dams. So, it does make them a little bit, like, um, what's it called? Randomised. Uh, but it will also mean that we can probably make, like, a line of horses. Um that will have, like, Secretary and Ruffian as the grand dam as we go down. So, I think... There's something we can do with the research to the coat. Right, interesting. I don't know what that does. Um, so there's a hidden pattern of blanket roan. Does that mean that there's a chance for blanket roan to come up? Hidden genes can be passed down during breeding but remain invisible on this horse. Okay, all genes have a chance to be passed down to foals and may turn out visible or hidden in pedigree. Right, so... Right, okay, so the genes are just what we see. And then hidden G's is what could be on a foal. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I don't know what dilution is, but that's pretty cool. So that's number one. This is number two. Uh, this was Secretariat and Zenyatta. I'm actually interested to see what, again, another blanket roan. 
That's strange. Okay, this is number three. Blanket Rowan again. I'm seeing a pattern here. That might have been something to do with the Secretariat, though, because if it happened all, in all three, Secretariat was the common factor. So, interesting. Uh, so this is number four. Sparse of Vera, it was Secretariat, because Farlap is the, the dad of this one. And this is a stallion. So I'll be interested to see what comes out of him. Pintaloosa Stripe. Interesting. Okay, so those are the hidden genes. Blanket Roan. Same, same as um, Secretariat's kids. Interesting. So those are the horses. Definitely, you can choose to name all six of them or just one or two of them. Uh, just write in your comment the name that you would like to see and I'll pick my favorite ones. So a pretty short video today. I will go away and I will train these horses or at least try to. I'm actually not going to make promises because I, I don't have that much time. Uh, but we'll see what we can do with these horses. And um, next time I'll be renaming them what you guys wanted to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.